Hello and welcome. Today we'll be looking at laws of log reading. These laws help us solve log reading equations or expressions faster. This means that laws are like shortcuts. Now I'll list out some of the laws of log reading that we have and then we'll apply some of them in this video. The first one would be when we have logarithm of the same base added together, we simply multiply the argument. So this will be log m multiplied by n base a. When you have logarithm of the same base added together, you simply multiply the argument. The second one, when we have logarithm of the same base subtracted from each other, we simply divide the argument. So this would be m divided by n. m divided n. The third one, when you have logarithm where the base and the argument are the same, a, a, this is equal to 1. For example, if you have log 5 base 5, this is equal to 1. Log 20 base 20 is equal to 1. When the base and the argument are the same, that logarithm is equal to 1. Number 4. When I have a logarithm expression written like this, m raised to power k. I can rewrite this as k multiplied by log m base a. So I can take this power to multiply this logarithm without the power. So this power can come here. That's what this law says. And then number five, if I have this is similar to that of 4. Just from 4, you know that this k can come in front like this and then multiply log a base a. But remember that log a base a is equal to 1. So this is k times 1. And what is k times 1? k times 1 is still k. So simply when you have maybe you have um, log 5 base 5 but then this 5 is raised to power let's say raised to the power minus 2, then this is simply equal to minus 2. That is what this last or the fifth law is saying. It's equal to the, the power when you have the base and the arguments the same. Good. So these are some of the laws of logarithm and we are going to be applying them in this question. The first one says evaluate log 0 0.04 base 5 divided by log 18 base 3 minus log 2 base 3. The first thing I'm going to do if I was to solve this is to change this decimal to fraction. That would be log base 5. 0 0.04 to fraction is 4 over 100. 4 over 100. When you change this back to decimal, you know how you change fraction to decimal. This divide by log. Both these are in the same base and they are subtracted from each other. So we simply divide the arguments. That will be 18 divided by 2. 18 divided by 2. Now this I can reduce to the lowest term. 4 into 4 is 1. 4 into 100 is 25. So this is the same thing as log 1 over 25. 1 over 25. Divide by log 18 divided by 2 is 9. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 25. I can write it as 5 raised to power 2. That would be log 1 over 5 raised to power 2 base 5 
divide by log 9, I can write as 3 raised to power 2. Now, this one, 5 raised to power 2, is at the denominator. If I want to take it up, this power 2 will become minus 2. So that this is equal to this, this one is equal to log 5 raised to power minus 2. And then this log base 3, 3 raised to power 2. Now, what law are we going to apply here to shorten our, our, our working? You can see this last law where the argument and the base are the same, but then the argument is raised to power k. You simply say that the answer is k. So here again, you can see the argument and the base are the same, but then the argument is raised to power minus 2. So this is simply equal to minus 2. Same thing with the denominator. The argument and the base are 3, but then the argument is raised to power 2. So this is equal to 2. Then minus 2 divided by 2 is equal to minus 1. So our answer is minus 1. I hope you found this video this interesting. Now, if you want to get some of my simplified math videos for free, videos where I make math simple, friendly, and easy to understand, there should be a link above or below this video. Click on that link and I'll send you some of my videos for free. Click on the link above or below this video and I'll send you some of my simplified math videos for free. Let's do the next example. So we have example two. You can pause this video and give this question a try and see what you get. Now we have all this in the brackets divided by log seven over six. What we are going to do is, according to board mass, solve everything in the bracket, right? So let's do that. When you have logarithm in the same base added together, you simply multiply the argument now but you might be saying are they in the same base there's nothing no base written now when the base is left empty you take it as base 10 so this is logarithm in base 10 so they are in the same base so i'm going to multiply the argument this will be 5 over 7 times 7 over 6 but you can see this 2 here and you know according to the According to this fourth law, this power, you can write it in front like this, just like this two. So this one, I can take it up here. So this will be 7 over 6 squared. 7 over 6 squared. Right? 7 over 6 squared. Then, minus. When you are subtracting logarithm in the same base, you simply divide the argument. So this will be divide by 5 over 6. This is what is in the bracket. Then we have this one, divide by log 7 over 6. Good. Now we can cancel out. 7 can cancel 7. Before then, this one, I can change this as to multiplication and then invert this. So this will be 6 over 5. You know when you are dividing fraction, you can change the division to multiplication and then find the reciprocal of the fraction you are dividing with. Okay. So 6 can cancel 6. 5 will cancel 5. So we are left with 7 over 6. So this is log 7 over 6. We are done with what is inside the bracket. Divide by this log 7 over 6. Now, you have this and this are the same thing. When you are dividing numbers that are the same, what do you get? You simply get 1. So it doesn't matter what the value of this is. You know that this and this are the same. It might be if you have 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1, the answer is still 1. 100 divided by 100 is 1. So this divided by this is equal to 1. 
Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, if you would like to get some of my simplified maths videos for free, click the link above or below this video and I will send them to you. And do well to share this video. I'll see you in the next one.